Let me guess. You came here looking for an awesome phone under $500, aren't you? I suggest you stick around because today I'm going to show you just how the Google Pixel 7a can be the best smartphone for your budget. You may check the links below for the product or you can just scan this QR code to make it quicker. As soon as you open the box, the Pixel 7a looks very sleek, indeed very minimalistic. There are four different colors of this phone, by the way. If you ask me, I just love how minimal and clean the colors look. It's not too flashy and not too dull, and it goes very well with the rest of the design. Just look at that. By the way, if you want to get the coral color, it's a Google Store exclusive, so you're going to have to get it through that one. Under the hood, the Pixel 7a sports the Google Tensor G2 chipset, which, although not the most powerful, is still among the best. And since it's a 5mm process chip, it's highly power efficient, which does affect the battery life in a good way. But more to that later. It also has 8 gigs of RAM, and as for the storage, this phone comes with 128 gigabytes. Take note, there are no other storage options, and it does not have an SD card slot, which is honestly a shame since its competitor, the Samsung A54, has more storage options plus an SD card slot. As for the display, the Pixel 7a has a 6.1-inch 1080p OLED display which has a 90Hz maximum refresh rate which is set to 60Hz by default to keep the battery consumption down. As a bonus, you'll also find an optical fingerprint reader under the display which is not the fastest there is but it's still arguably better than the archaic Touch ID you'll find on the iPhone SE. In this way, you'll get the best of both worlds, a fingerprint reader and a full screen display. Now. Because of the chipset efficiency, battery saving features and all that, this phone can manage up to 3 days of use. But of course, let's be realistic, it can last 1 day and a half if you are using it intensively. Which is not bad if you ask me. And if you're ever in a pinch, this phone can manage up to 18 watts fast charging and surprisingly, it also has wireless charging. Pixel phones had the reputation of providing great camera experience. And this continues with this phone as it now has a 64 megapixel main camera and 13 megapixel ultra wide and selfie cameras. Google is one of the pioneers of computational photography. And yes, as you can see with these photos, they're still one of the best, even when compared to the iPhone 14. It offers clear and color accurate photos that also have good contrast, but it doesn't brighten up things too much, which I personally prefer. And, of course, it can also do videos up to 4K, 60fps. Now, if the iPhone SE and Samsung A54 were in the talent show, the Pixel 7a would be the surprise underdog. It's like that contestant who vows the judges while the crowd cheers, where did this come from? But here's why the 7a is better than its competition. The iPhone SE might have that Apple allure, but the 7a has a better design, better battery, better display, and better cameras. And honestly, the iPhone SE looked like an archaic relic of the past compared to the 7a. And the Samsung A54? Yes, it is pretty close. The A54 has a better and larger display, but the Pixel 7a brings the G2 processor which performs better while also sipping less power. And it makes the 7a more future-proof than the A54. And other than that, the 7a also has better camera setup and wireless charging which isn't used too much in general, but it's a great feature to have nonetheless. And overall, I found the bare Android experience in the 7a to be much better than the Samsung and the iPhone. So there you have it folks. The Google Pixel 7a is the best smartphone you can get for under $500. At least for me. And since Black Friday is near, you can even get the 7a for under $400. Just scan this QR code or check the links in the description below to get that deal. But of course, there will also be links for the iPhone SE and the Samsung A54 if you just feel like those devices are for you. Also, please consider subscribing since these videos take a lot of work to do and it would mean a lot to me. But until then, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.